Hey guys, this is our day two in Alaska. Today, we will be sailing to the Glacier Bay. Yes, we're gonna spot some glaciers there. Later on, we will be in Juno. Juno is the capital of Alaska. And then in Juno, we're going to be in this place where they make the Alaskan beer. That beer is awesome. And now we're gonna see how they make it. That's gonna be very interesting. So stick with us, let's go. And this is my travel journal. Being in front of a glacier is an amazing experience. Here in Glacier Bay you can find few of them. Sailing with the cruise is a very good option to do it. The view is incredible. You will be surrounded by mountains, snow, ice in the water, and if you're lucky you could even spot some otters, seals, or even some whales. Can you see the light blue color that the glacier shows? This is basically because the ice is so compressed that the light refracts different, making the ice appear blue. If you compare how much this place changed from the 1700s to today, you'll be impressed by how many miles of ice disappear. Polar regions respond to changes in climate faster than other regions do. Can you imagine how Glacier Bay will change in your lifetime? Juno is the capital of Alaska, but can you believe that there is no roads that connect Juno with Alaska or even United States? It's a city surrounded by mountains where you can get just by plane or by sea. From May to September is the high season for tourism, of course because of the weather, so you will see a very crowded Juno with a lot of shops, a lot of shops. Alaskan beer is really good, and we're going to see where they make it. Alaskan Brewing Company has a tour to the factory. Every Alaskan beer distributed in 22 states of America is made here. You cannot imagine how many kinds of beer they have. In the tour, they will explain you how the company started, and they will give you to taste seven kinds of beer. They are really good, and they have this smoky one that has more than 22 awards and counting. It smells like mango. It does, and it tastes uh, a little bit fruity, like pineapple and uh, yeah, maybe mango, like some tropical fruit actually, very good. The tour really worth it. They will pick you up from downtown, from the shop Alaskan Brewing CO Depot, that also belongs to the Alaskan Brewing. You'll find it in Franklin Avenue, that is the main avenue. Thank you. 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 Uh, they gave the they gave her the raspberry in a different glass. Mine is like this, but it's the raspberry. The one that I finished, it's actually very particular. It tastes like salt. It has a salty taste, and it's actually a ginger smoky beer. Mario doesn't like it, but uh, it's, it's one of my favorite. favorites. Yes, uh, it's, it's Nina's, Nina's favorite. and Senia's favorite. So this is yeah, right. uh, uh, this one. It's a hopothermia. Yeah. That's actually an uh, IPA exactly. that uh, is going to explain in the description below. It's good. It's 8.5 degrees of alcohol. That's why Senia like likes it. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> this makes a difference. And this one, actually, it's a Baltic. Baltic porter. Baltic porter. Yeah. Nobody likes it. I love it because it tastes like you would put a whiskey. In when a she coffee. said nobody means Nina and me. Okay. Exactly. Like you would put a whiskey in a coffee, so and it has nine percent of the alcohol. Nine percent. Well, nine point eight percent. Nine point eight percent. It's gonna make you the happiest ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's finish the drinks. As you can see, Senia is already 
in a good mood. And by the way, these are four that they give you at the end of the tour because the tour includes three. So actually, Senia has already three, and all of these, and some of mine. So she's really happy now. <laughs> Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, put your comments below, thumbs up and until next time.